Today we are finally starting our very next Madden rebuild, and trust me, I, I wanted to get started way earlier on this, but uh, I've had so many difficulties getting this up, so be glad we're here. That Let me just say that. We're going with the Vikings, and we are updated to essentially what is today in real life. So, the starting quarterback looks to be Sam Darnold. Aaron Jones is here. Justin Jefferson. Jordan Addison. You know, Trent Sherfield, a real signing. I did bring in a couple extra free agents when I felt like you know, they might be potentially realistic additions or something of those notes. I brought back Dalton Risner just because, in my opinion, um, I did bring in Quez Watkins. I didn't bring anybody in severe. I made sure whatever I added was something minuscule or maybe a potential legitimate team need that could be something. I know Harrison Smith came back. He retired in this franchise. I can't fix that. We brought in Terrell Edmonds to kind of mimic that. Grenard's here. Van Ginkle's here. Cashman's here. Uh, you've got, I brought in Akella Witherspoon just to be an extra guy. You're going to need an extra corner. We're going to have to bring in another DN because our guys are not good right now. No doubt about that. We're looking at a 3-4. I think we're going to remain this way. Cashman and Pace should be pretty good. I like this so far. There are a lot of questions with this Vikings team right now, and we're going to get into all those. But before we get into this video any further, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll be doing more uh, of these rebuilds as I can do them, at least if my computer decides to work or not. But I like doing them. Doing them. I, like, I know y'all like them a lot, so just stick with me here. They'll come out as soon as I can. They do take a long time to make, so give me a little bit of a break. But also, check out W.GG for all of their uh, products, their what, what is it? I don't, energy drinks? I'm blanking right now. Been so long today spending just trying to get this computer to work. Uh, but yeah, W.GG, their energy drinks. Click the link in the description of this video to go find yourself your new favorite energy drink there. Or, uh, yeah, just go to the website and use code SHREDDER for 10% off your order. Either way, let's get into this rebuild. So starting this rebuild, we are up to the point of today. Basically, all that is left is the NFL draft, and that's what we're doing here. We're going to start drafting. Obviously, the, the big question right now is, one, is Justin Fields, or excuse me, Justin Jefferson going to remain on this roster? Yes, he is. Why would I get rid of him? Now, the next question is, where are we going to get our quarterback? Because is Sam Darnold going to be the guy? No. We're going to see how the first few picks of this draft plays out. So we can go land ourselves a quarterback. We're going to move up more than likely. The first two picks, no quarterbacks yet. Madden is stupid. The first three picks, Madden is still stupid. Four picks, stupid. Are we going to land any quarterback we want at pick 11? I actually really hope not. I, I just want this to be semi-realistic. And this is, this is absolutely so stupid. Caleb Williams goes to the Falcons. We may not have to trade up at all. The Bears are going to take Byron Murphy. This is stupid. So, here we are. We get our pick of basically everyone that we could ever want outside of Caleb Williams, considering he would be gone anyways. So, I mean, two guys here, they're top five projections, but one of them has top five talent. And to be honest with you, Jaden Daniels, he's the one who right now is projected in real life to be off the board to the commanders at pick two. So, I think it makes more than enough sense to go and grab Drake May. He is... You know, obviously a really good athlete. I really like Drake May. I think he could be a stud in any other draft class, not this year. I, I think he would be the number one pick out over Caleb, uh, over anybody but Caleb Williams. We're going to take Drake May and let these Vikings fans, if y'all are here, y'all are going to be really excited about this rebuild here. Stick around and see how it goes. See how well Drake May's career takes off. So now, we're getting lucky. We're going to remain with the 23rd overall pick. We're going to go ahead and just go pick by pick here. Seeing the Broncos get Jaden Daniels, uh, Cooper DeGene to the Raiders. Let's see. Who gets J.J. McCarthy? He's kind of our next guy here. Leitu Latu to the Colts. I like that fit. J.J. McCarthy is a Seahawk. Now, they have him, Sam Howell, and actually, let me say, I did not fix other teams' rosters because that would be a lot of work for me to do and potentially not even use. What matters is our team. The Minnesota Vikings are almost as realistic as they could be. So, here we are. We do have a big need at defensive line, but look at these receivers. Malik Neighbors, Roma Dunze are both available. Malik Neighbors is incredibly enticing. Imagine Justin Jefferson, Malik Neighbors, and Jordan Addison. Insane. Darius Robinson, I like that a lot with the fit potentially as well. I'm not going to go receiver more than likely just because it's not as big of a need. 
Drazon Newton and Darius Robinson are kind of the guys I'm eyeballing here. And I think we're going to go that route. We could potentially trade down. Actually, I think I want to do that. So we're going to look at that route. So we have our deal here. We're going to send our number 23 overall pick to get numbers, ooh, what is it? I think it's 29 and then their second round pick and we'll send a 2026 20, third. So not too bad there. We move back a few spots, enough to make a difference for sure. Now granted, we, we needed some depth as well. We just didn't have that. That was a big part of why I did this. There goes Darius Robinson. That does stink. But honestly, I feel like getting depth down the draft board, especially with a class that is pretty deep, pretty solid, I feel like this will be better off. I mean, we're still going to have most of these receivers here somehow, some way. So that's going to be huge for us. The Bills take Edgerin Cooper in the first round. What is this draft? Do not base this on anything. Malik Neighbors is still here. That is ridiculous. Jerzon Newton is a much bigger need still here. I think we we're going to go probably Jerzon Newton. Braylon Trice would be decent. That just makes too much sense. Is there any other DNs that make any more sense? Austin Booker or Deesa Isaac, I'm good there. Braylon Trice, maybe, but eh, I think Jerzon Newton would just be the better player overall. Makes a lot of sense for Minnesota as well. We're going to go with Jerzon Newton. Hidden Dev. 86 acceleration, 85 strength. Let me move this over so that way you can at least try to see what I'm looking at here. There we go. For the draft purposes, we will stay right here. Now, Jerzon Newton is ours. We got a D lineman. Somebody's going to help out a ton in that running game. We're going to move to pick 29 in the second round now. Going straight there. Uh, hopefully, we got a solid receiver on board. If, if That'd be great if like Brian Thomas is still here somehow. Not that, but... We've got routes to go here. We could, but we could definitely double dip at a certain position. Peyton Wilson, I would not be upset about. Mike Sanders still would not be upset about at all. Uh, yeah, I think we're we're pretty much hitting our limit here. I would not mind Trey Benson in the next round if that was possible. Not interested in the quarterback. We've got our guy for the future in Drake May, receiver. If we want to get a really good one, this is where we need to do it. Tez Walker would be interesting. I just don't know if it's really worth it considering we have Justin Jefferson. I feel like that defensive side of the ball might need more help than this side. We still have these guys here if need be. Uh, Disa Isaac does look kind of decent. He's a little bit undersized, actually quite a bit undersized for what I'd like. And the awareness is low, which means he's probably going to have a low overall. I'm really thinking a potential double dip at D-tackle with Rook Aroro maybe. Or we go maybe in the linebacker or secondary range. Jeremiah Trotter, obviously a good player. Junior Colson, a good player. Peyton Wilson, though. He might be the best guy in this class available. I've played with this draft class a little bit, so I know a bit about it. Yeah, I'm kind of liking what Peyton Wilson might bring. We do have a few linebackers now, but it can't hurt to have another. But actually, at the same time, a corner could definitely be better. TJ Tampa would be really nice in this Brian Flores physical football scheme. Awareness is C. Player act is F. D injury. That's a little rough, but B man coverage. A to C press. His zone is B to D. He's probably got a C. Mike Sanders still. We already have a slot guy, though. I feel like TJ Tampa might be our guy here. I've not played with him yet. And, you know, just a different pickup here. 92 speed, 92 acceleration, 88 change of direction. 49 at a corner is absolutely preposterous. That's got to change. But that's what we're going with for now. We're going to move on to our fourth round pick and keep this draft going. Hopefully, we've got some talent available at that pick as well. Matt Goncalves. I don't even know if that's a real person. Tez Walker's still here, so thankfully we did not take him too early. Uh, he, we, he might be the pick here now. If he's still here, it might be a sign. We're going to check out that linebacker position. Yeah, Tommy Eichenberg is decent, but I'm not really in love with any of these guys by any means. But right now, I think, I think I'm liking Tez Walker as our wide receiver three. I think I like that one quite a bit. Wow, 93 speed, 93 acceleration, 96 change of direction. This is going to be a playmaker. We're going to have him and Jay Jettas on the outsides and Jordan Addison cutting it up on the inside. That'll be pretty nice. Uh, going to our next round. Dallin Holker comes off the board. I saw that one. Howard Cross. Uh, Jermaine Burton's still here. We're not going to do that, though. I really would not mind Audric Esteem to get another power back. That'd be like a... Like, we're really just be putting together what Green Bay had for years with him and A.J. Dillon. With, uh, uh, wow, excuse me, Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon. I actually do kind of like the idea of that a lot. I like that a lot. Bad speed, bad speed. But strength is, he's a horse, an absolute horse. 
We might go that route. Let's check a few other things, like the tight end position. Trey Knox is still here. Brevin Span Ford from Minnesota. I actually kind of like that one. But Jared Wiley is the only one with a draftable grade so far. Great speed. He actually has the best 40 time for a tight end. Injuries A, I like that. Medium routes B, catchings B. I actually kind of really like Jared Wiley here. Audrey Esteem might have to wait. We could use another guy on the interior of the line. Bo Limmer would be decent. Maybe even Drake Nugent. I think we're going with the either the tight end or an interior lineman here. Drake Nugent looks pretty solid, honestly. Got really good blocking. Elite athlete. Really good athlete. Pass block power is bad, but everything else is actually pretty solid. I think we're going to go with Drake Nugent here. Just going to get a guy to help be some depth at minimum on that O-line. The interior is a little bit iffy, so we'll move back there. Maybe have a chance to still land Jared Wiley here. Audrey Kasteem does go off the board, so that is out of the picture. That's fine. We can work with things. I think Jared Wiley is going to be our guy here. We need a tight end, too. Not really a fan of... Actually, we do have... Um, what's his name? Fluffy-headed man. I don't remember his name right now. I can't think of it. Josh Oliver. There we go. Yeah, we might go... Jace McClellan could be another heavy back option out of Alabama. Solid speed. We're getting a lot better speed there. Still has B stiff arm. A to C trucking. What's his strength rating? If I'm, if I'm blind, if I can find it. His strength, solid. Not as good. I don't know. I'm, I might take that, though. I don't really have another guy I particularly love. Taj Brooks out of Texas Tech. He is a massive 5'10", 230. Decent speed, too. 7th and ninth in that, but still great speed. Injury is good. Actually, Taj Brooks might be our guy. Let's check out the defensive positions and see if there's anything else. Kalen Carson would not be terrible. Josh Proctor would not mind him either. Malik Washington, a really good depth piece at receiver, still on the board here. That would make our receiving core just filthy. The routes are going to be crispy. Awareness is good. He might be a good option here as well. I'm going to probably wait on him. I think he might be around another round or two. We could use, could potentially use another defensive end or something. An interior D lineman really is the point here. I just don't really like anything here. Tyler Davis actually ain't, couldn't be decent. I don't know how he is in this class, but he's a potential UDFA, so I'm not really worried about getting him now. So I think that leaves us with the running backs or Malik Washington. I think I might go Taj Brooks. We've already taken a receiver in this class. I don't know how good this guy is. 87 speed, 82 strength, 88 acceleration. Not too bad, in my opinion. This first draft is going to be a big one. And we're only picking in one more pick. So, looks like we're going to be able to land. I might just go get Malik Washington. Get absolute playmaking depth. Jalen McMillan is here too, though. I do like Malik Washington a whole lot. Burton's here. I don't, I mean, just looking at the ratings so far, I'm not really a biggest fan. McMillan has a really good release, a solid speed. Awareness is not great, so his overall is going to be a little bit down. But that might not be too bad as a depth piece. But I feel like Malik Washington, this type of receiver he is, might be a bigger need. Theo Weiss out of Missouri. I don't know, man. This is tough. We also still could go on the interior of that O-line. Never can have enough. Bo Limmer still here. Move one of them to guard. The other one can be a backup center or maybe even the future center. Jasheen Davis has actually some decent ratings here. Not good block shedding. What's his size? I didn't see that. He's okay. We could put him on an end. Block shedding's not great, but finesse moves is really good. Power moves is also really good. We're going to go with Jasheen Davis. That's just too big of a need, and he's got potential there for sure. Right out of Wake Forest. Going to the, uh, is that the second to last pick of the draft? All the way down. Bo Limmer off the board. Malik Washington is a guy to look out for. We did lose a few receivers in there, but he might still be available. Theo Weiss, Malik Washington's here. Dwight McGlothern's still here. I know he's decent in this draft class. I believe he's like a... 70 even or so. Maybe 69, but not too bad. Did we take a running back? I don't know that we did. I can't remember. I think we did, though. Carson Steele would have been nice. I didn't even look down the board far enough. But I think we're just going to go with the playmaker that is Malik Washington. Have some really good wide receiver depth in this class. And he has a hidden depth trait at the second to last pick of the entire draft. That is huge for us. Let's check out this roster. So here's our draft class. Drake May, a very strong 78 overall. 
He is still 20 years old. That's going to be awesome for us. Jason Newton, 74. 73 is for Tampa and Walker. Nugent is down to a 67. Not the best, but uh, Taj Brooks, 68. Jasheen Davis, 68. And Malik Washington, 69. Not too bad there. Some decent depth pieces for sure. We've got things to work with. That is for sure. We've got this in a good spot. We're going to go ahead and uh, move on to the lineup and check out and make sure we got our lineups the way we want them and get right through this season. This rookie year is going to be interesting for sure. Drake May, the new QB1. Justin Jefferson, Jordan Addison. They didn't even put... Okay, there he is. Tez Walker will be our wide receiver three. And we'll also move Malik Washington probably above Quez Watkins even just to make sure he gets play time. Maybe even Trent Sherfield. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I think we're really good in this spot. I'll do a few more things to make sure we're in the right spots, but no line solid. Hawkinson will be back if he's not already. He's out for 14 more weeks, but we'll be fine. Uh, we've got, you know, really solid linebacker play. Did we not have another one? I don't know. Harrison Phillips, Jerzon Newton. Jerzon Newton might split out to an end just to get some play. We're probably going to do that because I'd rather him be on the field than not. Or he might just start at the position that is, I believe it's left in. So, yeah, we'll do something. I'll let you know what the lineup looks like going into the season. So here we are at the beginning of our season, and our goal is going to be to make the playoffs. That is our goal. We have a pretty solid team overall. We'll check that out in just one second. But let's go into it, and let's see. So starting off, obviously, after training camps and all that stuff, Drake May's up to an 80 overall. He is right here. Then we have Aaron Jones. Taj Brooks is going to be our third guy. Justin Jefferson, I didn't even think that Tez Walker and Drake May were like college teammates. I didn't even think about that for a second. So that's great. Malik Washington's up to a 71 overall. That's going to help out a bit. Um, him and Tez Walker will be our three and four. Hawkinson will be back at some point uh, in two weeks. So that'll be another great addition to this offense. Make it very high powered. Drake Nugent is clearly a dynamic backup if you can't tell. Um, going to the defensive side of the ball. Metellus is going to start for us. He's got that dev trait. Uh, Cashman and Pace are going to be our middle. Bynum, Murphy, Witherspoon. Tampa is going to be our, our CB3. And then Blackman and Evans. So now, other than that, I think we're going to make sure Davis is starting on that left side. I want him to get his reps. Lowry is also... He's going to be moved... Ooh. Lowry's going to be moved down. I know he was cut in real life. we got to keep him for depth pieces at this point. Uh, we're already almost at Jerzon Newton's uh, hidden dev being shown. We're going to move Newton. Didn't mean to go here. We're going to move him on the depth chart to start at right end. That way we get the reps with him and he'll develop more and also fill a need because him and Harrison Phillips can be on the same field at the same time. That's going to be very helpful. We'll get to it. Fast two wins start to the season and now we have a breakout D lineman. Let's see who this is. Jasheen Davis. That's a huge ad for this team because well, he doesn't have a dev trait. All he has to do is get one stat here or less than 100 rushing yards, and he might have a, a dev trait, which will be huge for our defensive line. Going against the Jaguars, that could be tough. However, we'll see how it goes. I'll let y'all know what happened. Jasheen Davis does hit his breakout. That is massive for our defense, considering we're getting a position of need up to, well, just an upgrade in general. This guy is going to be able to hit a 70 overall now pretty quickly and be a foundational piece of this defensive line that we're going to have to rebuild pretty quickly. We also have a tandem breakout. It was uh, Jordan Addison that had it. I don't even know what I picked on it, honestly. But he didn't get the way he wanted it to. Doesn't matter. We won the game. That's all good. No losses. That's a good sign. We're 3-0 and with rookie quarterback Drake May. QB check-in. I'll go ahead and run through all this with y'all here. Uh, it, it looks really good so far. We're going to... We're going to preach a team mentality just to keep it balanced. Beat the Texans. You know, not putting any pressure on our quarterback himself. Just make sure we win our games. That's what we got to do here, and hopefully we do that just right there. 4-0, a great start to the season. We can't really be any more impressed at this point. We also have some news. Really proud of how we came out. We got our win. Yeah, let's keep it up. You're one of the leaders in that locker room. Keep pushing those guys every day, and we'll keep going like this all season long. Everybody, 2,500 XP. That's going to be huge. We are on our way to doing something special. Absolutely special. We have to check a few things, though. Um, one of them being, if we have any dev trait of showings, one of them is our quarterback. He is a superstar. That is massive for us. That is absolutely huge that Drake May is superstar dev. This offense is going to be filthy. Absolutely dirty. Uh, and a lot of silver here. You know, maybe not the best color, but we're not upset about it at all. 
We're going to get Jasheen Davis up to a 70 here, more than likely. Not quite, just a 69. But it is what it is. He's officially there. We'll get him up there eventually. He will be. He's quickly rising up. He only has like 3,500 XP to get there. So either way, big news there. Uh, oh, oh, Jerzon Newton was a star as well. Didn't really point that one out, but there he was. And either way, let's keep going through this season. At the Week 8 deadline, we are 7-0. and We are doing a great job. So we're going to check out some of our stats See if there's anything we are needing to do. Drake May is first in yards and touchdowns. What a great season for him. We're first in offensive yards. We're fifth in defensive yards. What are we not doing well? Is there? He also has a really great completion percentage. Drake May is insane. We're averaging four yards per carry. Not bad. Taj Brooks getting it done. We only have three rushing touchdowns. I wish we did have more of that, but this offense is very much so a passing offense. Uh, Justin Jefferson well on his way to a great season. Jordan Addison could do a little better. Uh, where I'm missing Walker and what in the world? There's Tez Walker and Malik Washington. Both of them could do more. We're going to see how we can get them more involved. Blocking-wise, did not mean to click on Ed Ingram himself. We'll see if there's anybody that needs a solid upgrade. Risner's not doing too great. Other than that, we're in a pretty decent spot. Um, Wait, hold on. Did I just do that right? Okay, Brian O'Neill's really our biggest upset so far. Blake Cashman's doing well. Uh, Van Ginkle has six and a half sacks. Jasheen Davis has four and a half. Really, really solid numbers from them. Johnny Newton's got one. Picks, are, are we getting the ball? I mean, TJ Tampa's doing his job, but not really anywhere else. A little bit more I wish we had from that, but it is what it is. Do we have any defensive touchdowns? I always like seeing if we do. We don't. Cameron Dicker's doing well. Punting looks really solid. Um, yeah, we're doing good overall. I don't really know how we can improve except for trying to make sure our, our depth chart stays in the right order, even though I already have the setting turned on to not let it adjust itself. But it is what it is with this game. Madden does what it wants to do. Drake May is playing up to an 88 overall. Very, very solid. Justin Jefferson out for a week or two. Nothing crazy, but hey, that's just more time for Malik Washington and Jordan and Tez Walker to get some time. Let's see if make sure that's why. That was not supposed to happen. Jordan Addison's our slot. Malik Washington's our two. Tez Walker's our three. That's why they did not have the right amount of uh, output. Either way, week eight, let's see some negotiations. If there's guys we definitely need to bring back. Uh, yep, we got to bring that one back. Might have to, I think, at least. Honestly, six years, I'm good with it. Great deal. He's just not ready to say yes now. We'll get him back eventually. We're going to wait on Aaron Jones a little bit. I like this Byron Murphy deal a lot. Three years right there. He gonna, he's going to want a little bit more money, but I think we can make that work. Cam Bynum, this is a super deal as well. Two million on each three years. He's back. Like it. Now, let's see what else we can do. Harrison Phillips, he's only 28. He's a star dev. I think we'll wait on him, though, because that's, that's a lot of a signing bonus right there. Other than that, though, I'm really comfortable with what we have. We're going to need to fill out a lot of the depth, really, on our D-line. Because I'm not going to bring Dean Lowry back for probably those numbers. And he's hardly going to want to be here anyways. Jonah Williams, also probably not. Tommy Togia, yeah, probably not. Patrick Jones, I would if I could, but I doubt he resigns. Though I really like his numbers. Depth piece, if I can do that right there and he'll take it, I'll do it. He'll take it. Wonderful. At this point, it's going to be just getting Jay Jettas back, getting Byron Murphy locked down, potentially Harrison Phillips, maybe Aaron Jones, but we'll see about that when we get there. Either way, let's keep this great season going. A massive week. Breakout quarterback. We already know he's a superstar. We're 9-1. and one. We've lost one game. We just got off of a 45-10 to 10 win. Drake May must have had a great game. He's going through the process of being better. He has a chance to be an X-Factor quarterback this early in his career. The, the chances it happens are low, but we are playing the Titans. Weekly awards, we got somebody. Drake May, 364 yards, five touchdowns. What a absolute stud of a draft pick. He is turning out very well. Granted, we gave him the best possible scenario. Everything has worked out well for him. Let's go ahead and check out, once I get these done, some of the uh, few things we have left to do, the negotiations, whatnot. I've not made any more progress on them, but I assume that we can get all the guys that we are intending to get pretty quickly. Starting off with the most important one, Justin Jefferson. 
He's got to come back. We'll give him a little bit more money just to make sure. Offer's perfect. We got him for six more years. We ain't getting off of that one. Byron Murphy, I really think we need to bring him back as well. He's already back for just a little bit more money as well. Not even much. We had to spend, really. Let's see. Anybody else we're worried about? Lewis Seen, we probably won't accept his option. He's not really been that great. Aaron Jones, I doubt we're going to go back on him. We might go for a free agent in that realm. Harrison Phillips is interesting. I don't want him at this number, but he wants to be here. I'm going to try to short him quite a bit. He probably will not like this. We'll give him that right there. Yeah, don't try to exploit my passion for the franchise with a low offer again. We won't. Sounds good, bud. We might have just gotten a breakout game for Drake May. We might have just got it. He's our X Factor, baby. Drake May, rookie year, already an X Factor dev trait. That is massive. How good can we be in year one? We're already 10 and 1. Trench boost, that was about the sacks, not allowing sacks. Let's see how good they did. Back to back games, no sacks. We're going to get massive upgrades for our O line like we need it. But, you know, this is, this is, this is an incredible run we are on here. Uh, my time to shine. We had a backup. Uh, Andrew Van Ginkle missed this game. I believe it's Ivan Pace was the one lined up next to him. He did not do well. Probably because that's not his position. He's not an edge rusher. Not at all. So, it is what it is. We're here now. But we are in a great spot. Let's keep this season going. Somehow, someway, we go 14-3 and three and are still the two seed. What kind of record did Dallas have? I have to know. Absolutely absurd to be anything better. And I'll prove to you, they 16 and 1, so were the Chiefs. Awesome. Great for us. I'll prove to you. I'll make sure you know. That's one thing I like to do. There is no, absolutely no force wins here. We didn't do nothing crazy. Regular season. Force win? No, 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 no. Home? That's just the bye week. It does it on the bye week. No, 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 no. None. 14 and 3. Massively great season. We got to check our final stats, that's for sure. Drake May. Looks like he led the league in passing yards one yard short of 5,000. 48 passing touchdowns. What an absurd season. And 72% completion on top of that? What an absolute monstrosity of a season. Is that MVP level? That's the best rookie season of all time. Only 11 picks. That is insane. Justin Jefferson, 1,500 yards, 7 touchdowns. Jordan Addison, 22 touchdowns at 1,300 yards. Absolutely insane. How many... Sacks, Ed Ingram, zero. Uh, the rest of them, it could be better, but we, we kept him clean for the most part. Andrew Van Ginkle with 14 sacks. Bernard with eight. Jasheen Davis with six. Jerzon Newton with five. Interceptions, Weatherspoon had five. Tampa had three. Cam Bynum had two. Cashman had one. Metellus had one. Any touchdowns? Any interesting? Nope, nothing there. No safeties either. What a great season, though. An absolutely absurd season. I mean... Second in offensive yards. Let's see what else they have. Seventh in defensive yards. We're top 10 on both sides of the ball. And we don't even have really a star defensive player. What an awesome year. Now, it's time for the playoffs. We'll see what happens. Round one goes rather smoothly. We get a 21-7 victory over the LA Rams. We're going to go ahead and check a few things out here. First off, training. Get it done. Get it out of the way. Next. I think we're going to simulate this game and try to hop into it a little bit. Just make sure nothing too crazy happens. We have a really good track record so far. Obviously, the Panthers do make their way to 9-8. and eight. I, That makes me want to check out some of the league-wide stats. We're going to do that real quick. I just can't believe Drake May has this good of numbers. That's insane. Absolutely berserk. NFL stats passing Drake May leads by a long shot. Mahomes actually has better pass touchdown interception ratio and a much what is the completion percentage? What is happening? Mahomes might steal the freaking MVP from us. He might steal it. That is absurd. We're on all Madden. I don't play on anything else. I've got to go make sure now because I'm just confused. I mean, I don't know if the sim plays differently. I don't think it does. How all Madden. There we go. Yeah, all Madden. What is happening? Absolutely berserk stats this season from multiple quarterbacks in this league. Let's see. We've got, we're going to go over stats again. I want to check the rushing out league-wide. Drake May adds another 300 yards on the ground. Barkley with 1,800 yards. Christian McCaffrey with 1,500. Henry, uh, like I said before, 
I did not edit other teams. I just edited the Vikings. That's why teams are still in the same way. Justin Jefferson, third in receiving. Where is Addison? He's about, what, top 10? I mean, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 in receiving. Two top 10 receivers in receiving. That's insane. Uh, really good line. I know we had, but, like, I don't know. You can't really track that super well. Sacks-wise, Micah Parsons leads. Judon next. Donald Crosby, Lawrence, Watt, Clowney, Brown, Quentin Williams, Jones, Van Ginkle is like top 10-ish. I don't know. He's somewhere in that vicinity. Either way, I don't understand how good these quarterbacks have been. It doesn't make any sense. Let's go ahead, make sure our players are upgraded, and jump into this game. Make sure we don't lose. Got to get our quarterback his upgrade if we can. He is already, he's playing up to a 92. He is an 87. He's almost nine overalls. He is nine overalls better than what he came in during the NFL draft. Massive, massive win for us. Jasheen Davis up from a 68 to a 72. Massive move for him as well. Also with the dev trade upgrade, tons of things working in our favor there. Let's make sure our lineup is looking good. Don't want to have any changes. Also see if any development has happened. Jefferson is still superstar X Factor. Tez Walker is still star or nothing. Malik Washington, though, has his up and going defensively. Still all here. Nothing changes. Uh, but, you know, we're not in a bad spot, that's for sure. TJ Tampa, I wish he was a little better, but, you know, he'll be fine. We'll be all right where we're at. And make sure our slot receiver. Jordan Addison, Malik Washington, still there. Good deal. And we're good there. All right. Should be good to go. Let's get into this game. We are an 85 overall to their 80. We're playing at home. We'll play every team at home except for Dallas at this point and the Super Bowl if we make it that far. Hopefully we get there. Bryce Young, number one overall pick last year versus the, I don't know what pick we were, but really good either way. Uh, Johnny Hecker punted it to us. Now we're going to jump forward by the quarter. That's how we go here. We get up to a 7-0 lead very quickly. Are they going to match it though? Looks like they might. Next quarter, once again, they match it with three. We're going down, and we're raining it down on them. Already going to be 21-3 going into halftime. Looks really good for what we got going on. Go to the next quarter. Now, nah, just a punt, another touchdown. Cameron Dicker. We are 35-3. to I'm not even worried about it. Next quarter it is. We would usually stop and slow it down a little bit, but they can't stop us. They can't stop us at all. Not even a little bit. We get one field goal and five touchdowns to their one field goal. What a great game for us. To go to the NFC Championship. A massive win. Drake May, 85% completion, 370 yards, four touchdowns. Jordan Addison has eight receptions for 145, 47 yards, excuse me. And a, just a massive game. We are just dominating everyone. I'm interested to see if we play this Dallas team or not. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, moving on to next week. I'll go ahead and show you. I'm going to show you one more time. That I am not forcing any wins here. Just to prove the point, 21-7, 38-3, massively, massively destroying the teams we play right now. Schedule it is, going to playoff schedule, no force wins. Our game is the one that matters, no force win. It is what it is. Thank you guys for watching this far in the video. Make sure you stick around, like the video, subscribe, all those good things. It means a lot to my channel. It doesn't cost you a single thing. Also, check out the jersey giveaway happening on the channel right now. We are going to play Dallas having to go to Dallas. That does stink. Let's check out the hot opponent, and we'll get right into this game in a moment. But either way, check out that jersey giveaway. We are uh, uh, Somebody will win a free jersey. Check out how to win. It was a video posted. I'll link it at the end of this video. You'll see how to win a jersey if or get a chance to win a jersey, that is. Either way, going into this, we're in a good spot. Manage staff. We're going to get a couple upgrades if we can. I mean, you might as well. Dallas is really good. We could definitely use whatever we can get. Uh, secure the line. We're going to go with our pass blocking. And we can't upgrade anything else here. Defensively, we can get something, though. We can get that acceleration up for middle linebackers. Make sure they're moving quickly. Getting to attack the ball. Definitely an upgrade there. Let's get right into this game. Get your W. We are at AT&T Stadium for this one. Going in, having to play in Dallas. Going to start this game off. We get the ball. I did not mean to do that. Super Sim, please. All the way to the next quarter. Starting off, we go up 7-0 very quickly. They don't score. That's good news for us. Moving on. Next quarter, once again, up 10 to nothing. They can't score on us either. 10-3 to now. They do score. I, of course, I had to say something. We're going to go to the end of the third quarter and hopefully 
we will remain in the lead. 10 to 6 so far. Very close. Change of possession here. We're in scoring range. Get another three points. Make it a seven point game. Let's see what we do here. Fourth and three. They have to punt. We get the ball back. First and 10. We're moving. Oh, second and 20. Sack. Fourth and 14. A 40-yard punt down to the one-yard line. They do get out of there, though. Third and 13, fourth and two. Massive for us. They're punting one more time. Can we run out the clock here? A big penalty on them. Third and eight turns into first and 10. They're going to have to start calling timeouts here in a second. Ooh, fourth and six. Never mind. Controller died. All right, here we are. Controller is fixed. Getting back into it. We punt the ball. They get a, they're at the five. They have a long way to go to score seven points and only a minute and a half to do it. First and goal for us. That's game, right? We go up three more, kick the ball off. That's game. We're going to the NFC Championship. Or wait, this was the NFC Championship. Hey now, we're in the Super Bowl. Year one. Massive W. Massive W. Beating the number one team in the entire NFL this season with our rookie quarterback. Was it a messy game? Absolutely. Did we only get about three, uh, wow, two, 170 passing yards? Sure. Doesn't matter. We won the game. They're going home. We're going to the big game, the Super Bowl. Hot opponent. We got them out of there, 16-6. to six. We have not allowed more than 10 points in a single playoff game. Seven, three, and six. What is that? 16 points to our, what, 50, 60 points that we put up? Probably more than that. 38 last week. 60 in the last two games. Absolutely massive. Let's keep going. We have a 91 overall offense and 85 defense. Massive difference there. But hey, we're moving right along. Drake May going to get some upgrades here. Get him up as high as we can for this Super Bowl. We're going to need it. Absolutely going to need it. So going on, Cameron Bynum, Jonathan Grenard, lots of upgrades here. I'm probably just going to let them. Yeah, I'm not really worried about too many of them. We'll just let them play out. Ravens are our Super Bowl matchup. Two very different football teams. Weekly awards, who do we get? Drake May, he does still get it. He was sacked four times, about three times by Micah Parsons. Rough game for him, but doesn't matter. He's a winner. He makes it out anyways. We'll go on, and we'll see how, good, how well we do in this Super Bowl. And we're going to go through these. Uh, just trying to make sure everything gets done correctly. No worry about it. Got to get the training done because then we can upgrade our players more. Got to get all the young guys developed as well as possible just to help out the team. Jordan Addison, he must have won something because he gets three. What does his progression history say? He gets wide receiver of the year and offensive player of the year. Probably those 22 touchdowns doing something there. He's going to get into the – it might get up to a 90 off of this. He's currently an 88 without the bonuses. He's going to be an, an 89, excuse me. So we have an 89 and a 99 overall wide receiver. A massive play for us and a massive play for our rookie quarterback. You want to keep your quarterback in good graces? Well, give him some good weapons. That is going to keep him here for a long, long time. Andrew Booth, the bust of a player, going to get a little bit of an upgrade here. Get him up to a 75. Hey, he might be a little bit decent now. Van Ginkle gets an upgrade and Washington gets an upgrade. Massive plays for these guys here. Going to be very, very helpful here throughout the rest of this short rebuild that it might be. Maybe one more season, maybe this season. Maybe we play for four more and still don't win a Super Bowl. Boy, I love losing Super Bowls. That's, how, that's what our motto is here, apparently. If we're Buffalo, that is. Now, we'll get right to it. It's time for the game. We are in 86. They are in 87. We stayed in Dallas, too. Nice for us to have to do that. Starting off this game, we're going to jump forward, as we always do, to the next quarter. Our first drive and their first drive both go nowhere. They score on their second, though. Not good for us. Moving on. Can we match it up? We can. Quickly and easily. However, they are scoring at will. Looks like we turned the ball over, and they got it back. In the third, we're going to get the ball to start, it looks like. We need to, uh, another turnover, looks like, happened. We need some big plays right here. I'm going to have to jump in. I'm going to have to jump in here in the Super Bowl. This is a massive time. Let's see. Good blocking. Good blocking. You suck. Eight rushes. That's a problem. That is a little bit of a problem. We can't do too much if we're only passing the ball. Well, I guess we can. We've gotten this far. Hawkinson, wide open for the touchdown. Didn't take but two seconds to get in there. 
That's why we passed the ball. That's why we passed the ball. Oh, wow. They're going to do this to me already? Not a good sign. I am not good at this. Wow. I don't even think it's possible to make that. Absolutely ridiculous. Cameron Dicker will not be winning Super Bowl MVP. We're going to let the Super Sim play out. Hopefully, they can handle our defense. Oops. Got to change the possession first. Quick for and out. Very quick. We're going to go on offense, though. A very explosive play potential here. I like this a lot. Got to go underneath, but Tez Walker will get his share as well. Drake May does have a pick so far in this game. We're not worried about it. Jordan. Wow. I keep saying Jordan Addison. Justin Jefferson right over the middle. Too good. Absolutely. This looks like zone coverage. This could be an absolute breaking play. Tez Walker right over the middle. Him, that NC connection, making it work for us here. Four catches, 66 yards in the biggest game of Tez Walker's life. In the biggest game of Drake May's life. Everybody's life. Nobody is up to it. Look at this. Drake May's activated. What's that look like? Don't take sacks. We got to go. We got to go. Hawkinson, easy. He drops it. He drops it. Come on, man. You got to hold on to that. You're a 90-something overall tight end. Don't take sacks. What is his ability, though? I think it's perfect passing while throwing on the run. Good to know. That He dropped it again. Just dropping it. They're selling. Absolutely selling. Justin Jefferson here might break the game. Him or Jordan Addison on that outside should be great. Jordan Addison couldn't come down with it. We're going to be stupid once again and go for this dumb play. We're not taking a field goal here. Easy for Burt. Somebody's going to be open. If not, maybe Drake May can get it done with his legs. Jordan Addison holds on to it on fourth down. Massive play from our second best wide receiver. Can't ask for much more there. Your second guy's doing this. Sorry, my neighbor's mowing their lawn right now. Didn't know that was going to happen. Hawkinson can't hold on to a single ball. He's going to single-handedly ruin our entire uh, completion percentage. Not that that matters, but, I mean, it's something. Can you catch this one? He caught that one. Thank you. We're very close. Third and two. Let's get in that hurry up. I like Malik Washington's route right. Or no, that's going to be Tess Walker's route. Tez Walker, touchdown, baby. We're in there. Tie game. We're going to let this go. Let them take their next swing at it. Baltimore, they get the ball. We're going to change of possession here. They get three. We got a minute 18 to get three points. I'm okay with that. Flag. Is that hopefully it's a PI? That'd be insane if it was a PI. Offense. Wonderful. Gotta give us a chance, Christian. A minute 13 now to get three points. Definitely doable. Justin Jefferson quickly over the middle, moving it up. We're gonna take our timeout here. Oh, we're out of timeouts. Oops. Didn't realize. I said over the middle. He was not anywhere close to the middle of the field. Justin Jefferson, a massive catch all the way down to the seven. This is why we paid the man. There's a flag. Defensive pass interference.
I don't know what to do. My heart is pounding right now. I don't even know what to do, man. Where's where am I at? Gun. Goodness, this is insane. Aaron Jones, the Minnesota Viking, into the end zone, going up by three, by four, with seven seconds left. In the Super Bowl, the battle of who gets to keep purple. And it ain't going to be no stanky rat birds. No rat birds. They got to get a touchdown. Get that ball out. Three seconds left. They have to go for a, a game-winning touchdown. Johnny Newton gets free. Clock's up, buddy. The Minnesota Vikings, with a rookie quarterback, go on to the Super Bowl, have the best rookie season of all time, no debate. He did not leave it up for debate. 5,000 yards, 48 touchdowns, only 11 picks. And the Minnesota Vikings, with Drake May, will win the Super Bowl. Lamar Jackson, questions are arising about his career. Can't get it done in the big games. Choke it away. Choked away two possessions, giving up the ball on three and outs to give us chances to come back into this game. Byron Murphy, what did you do? Give it to the man. Give it to the man. Drake May. Should Drake May be taken number one overall now by the Chicago Bears? Maybe so. Maybe this will be enough proof. Chicago, Ryan Poles, if you're watching, draft Drake May. Or don't. I can't control you. What a massive catch right there by Jordan Addison. That play doesn't happen. This game is over. But Justin Jefferson, you can't deny him. Those two massive catches. 382 yards, three touchdowns, one pick, 70% completion. The Minnesota Vikings get their first Super Bowl. Uh, is that ever? Is that ever? I don't know. Uh, maybe second ever, but first now. I don't know. We'll see in a second. I can't think. Massive win for the rookie quarterback with a great, absolutely astounding set of receivers. 112 staff points. What a, what a world we are in. Let's go to next week. Kevin O'Connell gets extended, obviously. He just won a Super Bowl. What a wonderful way to end this rebuild. And not to mention the fact that this was going to suck for me. I had things to do, and I got pushed back so far. Five-time NFC Championship, one-time Super Bowl champion, Minnesota Vikings. That's us. MVP was Patrick Mahomes. That's so stupid. That is so stupid. No way. Drake May deserved it. We all know it. Drake May for MVP in the chat. I don't know. Uh, Mike McCarthy, I think, win. I can't read anything. Uh, Jordan Addison, we got that one. We get Rookie of the Year, Drake May. A great season for us, nonetheless. We should have won the MVP, too. Our, our quarterback should definitely have had that. But we're going to get a lot of that. Either way, I think that might be it. I'm going to do a very, very quick simulation to go into next season. Drake May up to a 91 just after his rookie year. Already with another ability slot. Going to be a very good year for us. We're going to go through and see if we can win one more Super Bowl. I'm not going to show you any additives. This is it from here. I will just bounce all the way to the Super Bowl to see how we do. Really quick before we get into this last season, I'm just going to run through what the lineup looks like now. Aaron Jones does come back, but he's regressed a little bit. Justin Jefferson is our one. Addison goes up to Superstar our two. Tez Walker remains our three with Malik Washington at four. We bring in Brandon Scherf to really increase the talent of that O-line much better now. We go from, I believe, a 75 overall to an 88. Really solid there. And then on defense, not a ton of changes. We bring back Harrison Phillips as well. Uh, the cornerback room probably could have been upgraded more, but... Other than that, it remains basically the same defense. So we'll get right through and see how far we get this season. In the next season, we only are the third seed. We finish 11 and 6. Definitely not as good of a season, but it is what it is. Uh, we're going to check out our stats just to see how our players did. Drake May finishes second in passing yards, six in passing touchdowns. We're the seventh offense in the league. Second defense, though. Much better defensive year, even though it doesn't seem like it. 33 and 6, 77% completion. 
Will that be enough to get him MVP? Let's see. I want to see the uh, the other NFL leaders. Mahomes has a few more yards, a few more touchdowns. 42 and 2? That's ridiculous. What is this What is this whole thing on? Pacheco, Brees Hall, where are we at? We're not even close. We're not even close. All right, I'm not going to worry about anybody else but us here. I want to see rushing. We still get over 1,000 yards, but nothing crazy. Uh, 12 touchdowns for Jefferson with 1,600 yards, 1,000 yards, and 6. Malik Washington, a massive year, 900 yards for himself there. Tez Walker, only four catches. Not really sure what happened there, but that's where we are. Defensively, Blake Cashman with a ton of tackles, then sacks. Let's see. Not a ton of sacks overall. Just a really down year. A bit more spread out, though. Interceptions. Cameron Bynum gets three. Murphy gets two. Blackman gets two. Tampa only gets one. Interesting. Any of the touchdowns? Do we get any? No. Safeties? No. We get one safety. I didn't even see who it was. But either way, not a bad season, but definitely not as good. We're just going to quickly simulate game by game and see how good we do in the playoffs. We're not going to change any. Well, I'll do. I'll go ahead and upgrade some players really quick. Just going to let everybody auto-upgrade. Not worried about it. And we'll see how we do if we can maybe go back-to-back. -back. Advanced week next week. We play in the Cardinals. We are the higher seed so far. We already lose. So that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you so much. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button. It does a ton for my channel. and doesn't cost you a single thing. Either way, let me know who you want to see as the next rebuild. And I'll see you all in the next video.